Welcome to Jerkiri Point official YouTube channel. Now I am going to explain about H file visible device. So this device we majorly use for the access purpose as well as the attendance purpose. This device requires two level power supply to run the device. And you can check what is the device capacity inside the device. So go for the system info. Device capacity is 10,000. We can add 6000 fingerprint and 6000 face and also we can enroll the 10,000 car for the verification and it is able to store the 2 lakh transaction capacity to store the data of transactions and this device supports for the communication like TCP, IP and Wi-Fi is optional this device we can connect with the ZK2 core devices like uh, EM lock exit button and RS485 reader uh, vegan reader for the access purpose also you can connect with the sensors and alarms for the access purpose you can see the device and the, this device will comes with the 5 inch of touch screen display this is the camera for the face verification and uh, it comes with the fingerprint sensor for the fan, fingerprint uh, registration and verification and also it is having the card sensor to read the card you can see here this is the device reset button where we can do the reset for this device back side here a lot of uh, ports are there you can connect accordingly this port is to connect the 12 volt power supply for device input purpose and uh, this is for the vegan purpose you can connect the vegan reader here and if you are connecting any rs485 and all you should go for this port middle port and this is for the tcp ip connection and you are going for anything like em lock exit button sensor channel you should connect in this port so these are the ports we are going to use now we will check what are the options are there inside the main menu first option is user management here uh, you can add a new user you can delete and edit the old user details also and second option is user role here by default three user roles are there so according to that you can change the particular uh, that's uh, menu options so for what all you are going to give the access so this user role you can assign to the employee for the operational purpose in the communication you can check the ethernet option is there you can do the setting for the ethernet cloud server setting and vegan setup you can do the changes for the in the common in the system info will be getting date and time setting and access log settings face setting fingerprint setting and uh, device reset also you can do it here if you want to check the security settings you can go for security settings also and here we are having the option uh, for the access control you will be getting the options for the like anti passback command verification group verification and uh, time role setting everything do it from the access control and uh, personalize here you can uh, uh, use for the inter user interface wise prompts bell schedules and uh, Punchet enabling options and data management here you can delete the data like uh, attendance records user photo uh, and everything you can delete it from the data management here attendance search by entering the user id of a particular employee you can search the transactions of that employee and uh, attendance photo you can search uh, block list photo auto test option is provided for the testing the device if the device is not working properly you can test it from the auto test like a lcd screen you can test fingerprint sensor you can test camera everything you can test it from the auto test and the system info here you will be getting the options to check the device capacity what are the free space and what is the fill space and uh, device information you will be getting the device name serial number and uh, firmware information related to the device you will be getting in the firmware info so this device we can connect with the ZK Tico softwares like Easy Time Pro, Easy WMS, Intelligent Time and ZK Bios UCI Critic kind of softwares. This is all about the H-File device. Thank you.